Selamat datang, welcome to Malaysia for Lima 2017, the Langkawi International Maritime and Aerospace Exhibition. It is a unique event gathering the latest naval defense and aerospace technologies. This year, Navy recognition and air recognition are official online show daily for the event gathering over 500 exhibitors. Lima 17 kicked off today with the official inauguration at MIEC. This year, over 40 vessels from the Royal Malaysian Navy and from all over the world are attending the event. It is a unique opportunity to see all these vessels at sea. For Lima 17 Day 1 video, we are focusing on the international presence at the maritime segment. company ECA Group is showcasing its range of UUVs and ROVs for naval applications. This is the Fulmar UAV by Thales. Six of them have been procured by Malaysia to be fitted on each of the six NGPC of the Coast Guard. The ramp launcher for the Fulmar is fitted on the foredeck of the NGPC vessel. Turkish company Azelzan is showcasing its LMM missile launching system. It is a turret fitted with eight lightweight multi-role missiles by Thales. Azelzan is also showcasing the SMASH 30mm remote weapon station. Six of them have been selected to be fitted on the NGPC next generation patrol craft of the Malaysian Coast Guard. Three more of these systems will be fitted on the future OPVs of the Malaysian Coast Guards. So here we are presenting uh, the Silena MK2. Silena MK2 uh, decoy launcher system uh, emphasizes a new uh, capability, especially for anti-missile and anti-torpedo capability that uh, we are developing in partnership with uh, DSNS, a French company as you you know, we consider that uh, there is an opportunity for uh, Malaysian uh, uh, Navy. Uh, we consider that our system is fitting uh, perfectly the, the requirement of the littoral uh, combatant uh, ship, which is the former called uh, SGPV Bash 2. And we are uh, aggressively promoting our capability uh, to the Navy to show that uh, it will uh, meet their operational requirement and also address uh, the future threats which are proliferant in the region. Casing here at Lima, we're having the, the Sea Wasp, a remotely operated vehicle for looking for waterborne IEDs. We're having it live also, so we're going to do live demonstrations uh, down at the, the pier at Lima. And also, we're part of the grazing ceremony, which the Prime Minister of Malaysia and the Chief of Navy is attending. So it's for us a very good possibility to showcase unique and advanced technology from SAR. The Sea Wasp is a unique vehicle in the terms that it has very good maneuverability. A small vehicle but has very good and strong capabilities. So comparing to other systems, it's very compact, strong and versatile. And also has a lot of interesting sensors like sonars, cameras, advanced manipulator arms. So you can do quite, quite a lot of, of underwater works with it. Currently under evaluation for the US Navy. So uh, we're hoping for, for uh, big business for this vehicle. We came up with the 160 meter enforcer, uh, the, the diamond enforcer. We incorporated a lot of the lessons learned of the seven units that we have already built in this ship. And then you should think of the, the well dock design now, huh, which has a dual lane. 
uh, well doc design. Um, we have put a lot of R&D, a lot of thought in the design of the well doc. Uh, first of all, it has two lanes, dual lanes. Second of all, um, we, the height of the well doc and the depth of the well dock determines basically in which weather conditions you can still operate. So this vessel can still operate in adverse weather conditions. Then the second thing is the, the helicopter operations. We put a lot of R&D in it. And most importantly, um, uh, we have a lot of experience when it comes to the logistical process on board. So let's say when you, when you load your, um, your vehicles or um, the people that need to be treated in the hospital, what happens when, after you load them on board? And that logistical process, we have a lot of experience at uh, in the vessels that we have built so far.